Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and that was solo number four from the Chet Dobo Funk Drumming Workbook. This is a really uh, difficult solo, one of the hardest ones in the book because it's so slow. And the tendency for drummers when tempos are this slow is to rush. It's very common. And that's why I'm using this click track, and I'm putting it on 16ths, subdividing. Uh, so I can make sure that when I practice, everything is even. So there's a lot to talk about in this solo, and it's one of the longer ones uh, in the book. So there's many, many tunes that use this kind of groove, and I made a little list here. Uh, I'll also put a further list on uh, the description uh, for this video. Uh, if you click on the arrow, it says more uh, here on YouTube you'll see a bunch of information. A lot of people don't know that. So uh, first off, Steely Dan, uh, back in the day, had a lot of tunes like this. And this book was written in the late 70s. And so they were around then doing these uh, records. And some of their greatest records, really, The Royal Scam in Asia and also Gaucho, those three in a row are my favorite records. And some tunes from those are Caves of Altamira, I think that's from the Royal Scam, Gaucho, from Gaucho, and Third World Man also, which uh, originally that was recorded for Asia, but it ended up on Gaucho. So, But they all have uh, that kind or this kind of slow 16th note type groove. Some others that you may be familiar with from around the same time period, uh, Biggest Part of Me by Ambrosia, later the vocal group takes six to a nice version of it. Uh, what You Won't Do for Love by Bobby Caldwell. That's a great track, using this groove a little faster. Reasons by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Another great track, using this groove. Ain't That Peculiar by Rufus uh, with Chaka Khan. The live version with John Robinson is great. And then Georgie Porgy, which is a Toto tune. It's much, much faster. Uh, that groove is about this tempo. So that's a much faster version, but it's the same kind of groove where the right hand plays those 16th notes. And that's what we're dealing with here. Now in a little bit, I'll play the solo a little bit quicker. But you want to practice this one at tempo. Uh, it's harder to play slower, some of these licks, and keep them in time. So I would start out maybe 70. The written tempo is 72. So let's talk about a few things. First, the first fill that happens here, uh, you can spice that up with some little ghosting on the snare drum. So I would just suggest doing that. Don't make it sound so rockish where every note is the same volume. Uh, and then we get into this uh, beginning part here. And you'll notice that I'm using, or I'm starting with, the match grip with the butt out. That's because in the solo, the third line, it goes to this crossed rim rhythm. So that cross rim uh, sounds better with the butt out. And you could fish around for the good sound. Normally it's about a third of the way up the stick there. All right, but if you play it with the, the um, bead out, it's much thinner than this. So you definitely want to play it with the butt out. So it gives you a real thick sound there. The other thing you want, might want to notice about this is that all these 16th notes I'm playing with that shaft tip motion. And when I do the opens, I am using my shaft. So sometimes it gets a little mixed up there. That's fine. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. It's part of the quality. But you don't want to play it like this. All shaft, that becomes more of a rock thing. It doesn't have the inflection that we, we want, the character. Uh, so going through this, a lot of these open hi-hats should be very minimally opened. So let's look at uh, a good spot here is the second from the last line on the first page. So 
So you see I'm barely opening that there, all right? Now the hardest part of the solo is where you see that uh, the coda sign there, or the del segno, um, at the last line of the first page. So what happens there is you're playing on the bell, which is that circle on the top line. And that's tricky, all right? You don't have to do that. You can play on the ride or whatever, but I'm doing what it says, so I'm playing on the bell there. That's, that's pretty much the most difficult part of the solo to play slow. So we'll play that for you. Three, four. You'll also notice those two open hi-hats in a row with the line over it. That's one long sound. Don't, don't try to do this. That's not what that is. That's... Or it could just sound like one long sound. That's totally fine to do that. Uh, some other tricky spots, the second page, second line, that uh, little fill thing there. Be careful there rhythmically counting. A lot of my students, when they learn that, they learn it wrong. They end up playing like a 3-4 bar. There's a lot of space in that last bar there. Let me play that line for you. 3-4. Alright, so leave the space. You could fill in a tiny bit with your snare drum with some ghosting, but other than that, leave that. The little fill uh, down there on the second page, uh, that's not that hard. Uh, I'll show you my sticking there. So we'll start from the third line from the end of that page. Three, four. Let's try this a bit faster now. And ten clicks above is where I usually uh, we'll have my students play this. So that's 82. One, two, three, four. So that works really, really well at that faster tempo. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about before we go today. When you have to play these uh, kinds of rhythms really fast, there's a push-pull technique you can use, which looks like this. So that rhythm is so important, that technique is so important, because if you're playing a cross rim click, there's no way to do two hands on the hi-hat like this. That's fine if you're just playing snare drum, but if you're trying to do a click, you know, a cross stick, 
it doesn't work. So you can get some really cool open things like that. It's also extremely handy if you're playing samba, so. So once again, you have that cross rim ability if you can play those fast 16ths. So I hope you enjoyed this little clinic here on solo number four, and we'll be back next time with solo number five.